Hey everyone, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com and in this video I'm going to talk to you about catback exhaust systems for your 2015 and newer Mustang GT. The entire purpose of this video is to give you my top three catback choices based off of personal experience but also along with some customer feedback to help you guys choose a quiet, medium, or wild system for your ride. So why would you want to go with a catback instead of an axleback for that new S550 GT? Well, yes, the catbacks are going to be a little bit more of an investment up front, but what you're getting in return is more sound and more power, along with a slightly easier install. That's because unlike those axleback exhaust systems where you have to cut 100% of the time, 99% of the aftermarket catbacks here on the site bolt up without any cutting or permanent modification. So yes, you're putting in a little bit more upfront, but you're getting more benefits in return along with a slightly easier install. So if you want more info, more detailed product info on any one of the catbacks I've recommended, feel free to check out the product page at any time. Let's first break down my choice for the mild or quiet option. And for that, I decided to go with the Magnaflow Street catback for the 2015 and newer GT. And here are a few sound clips. As the name suggests, the street from Magnaflow is gonna be the perfect exhaust for my daily drivers out there, for someone who spends a lot of time on the road as you are getting a little bit more volume and a deeper tone over the factory system, but it's not gonna to totally drive you nuts on long trips. And this is something I can personally attest to as I do have the Magnaflow street installed on my own Coyote powered GT with absolutely no complaints. The straight through by design street mufflers do a great job of producing some of the deepest tone in the category, even with the included X pipe here, while at the same time delivering an excellent build and an excellent quality. You're looking at 409 grade stainless steel to be exact, three inch mandrel bent tubing throughout, including the four and a half inch slash cut tips, something that does a great job of filling out the hole in the rear bumper of your new GT. And that's something all of my systems that I have in this video will have in common. I did mention earlier that catbacks are an investment for your new GT falling around or above the $1,000 price point, and the street is no different coming in right around $1,100, but you're getting a solid build in return. But what if you crave a little bit more? You want to leave no question that the exhaust isn't stock, but at the same time, you don't want to get the attention of every person or every cop in town. That's where our middle of the road catback comes in. And for that, I went with the MBRP street system with the included H pipe, a very popular system here on the site. And on our one to five or one to wake the neighbor scale, I'm giving this a solid three out of five. And here's what it sounds like. Now I like this system for a few different reasons. First and foremost, I absolutely love the tone of the street here. Just classic muscle car grunt, thanks largely in part to the included H pipe, which does do a good job of cutting down on some of the rasp of the Coyote motor and helps keep the volume down slightly, but not too much. And the customer reviews really back this up. People are saying you're getting a good amount of bark here from the MBRP street, but it's not the loudest system out there. And that's why it made my list as the middle of the road system in regards to volume. Another big reason why I enjoy this system is the value. Probably one of the best bang for your buck systems available in the category, falling right around the $600 price point. Granted, you're not gonna see the best materials in the category thanks to that aluminized steel, but if that's not a concern for you, the MBRP will perform as advertised for half the price of my next system. my third and final catback, the loud or the wild system, otherwise known as the face melter. Now this catback is going to be for the Mustang owners out there looking to get their hands on the loudest damn thing they can right out of the box, pegging our loudness scale at a full five out of five. Take a listen. <laughs> Now achieving a louder over the top tone isn't necessarily the hardest thing to achieve, but when picking my wild system, I factored in more than just overall volume. I was also looking at quality, fitment, and interior noise because let's face it guys, having a loud system on the outside of the car is awesome. 
having one that's gonna be equally loud on the inside can get old very quick. So for all those reasons, I went with a Corsa. But first, let's talk about how the Corsa gets its volume or its sound. And honestly, it's gonna be the combination of the very unique double helix X-pipe working in conjunction with the straight through by design sport mufflers, giving you a bunch of sound, but also a sound that's gonna be very unique. In fact, a lot of our customers have actually stated that the Corsa gives them more of an exotic sound, and I would definitely agree with that. But as I pointed out earlier, this pick was about more than just overall volume, which you still are getting plenty of here with the Extreme. But in addition to that, you're also getting a premium build and premium materials. 304 grade stainless steel throughout, three inch mandrel bent tubing, beautiful welds everywhere, and your choice of tips. We do have the black chrome here on the table. You're also getting Corsa's patented tech, their RSC, or reflective sound cancellation technology, which does help keep things surprisingly quiet inside the car, despite all of the chaos coming out of the back. And that is really important to me after all, because a lot of times with the louder or more aggressive systems, drone can be a little problematic. Not the case here with the Corsa. I do want to point out that these three shouldn't be your end-all be-all choices here. They're merely my suggestions based off of my experience here at AM, along with factoring in some customer feedback. Now, if you guys do want any info or more info on any of the systems I just mentioned, feel free to check out the respective product pages. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.